Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury channel. And today I want to take you for a bit of a t guided tour of Melbourne. Melbourne, Melbourne, Australia. So what I've done is I've hooked up the uh, Osmo, DJI Osmo. And uh, I've gone out there on the streets of Melbourne. And I want to take some footage and have a bit of a talk to you about Melbourne without the sucker horn hanging on because i want to i want to be very very brutal and i want to be honest with you guys there so melbourne what is melbourne melbourne is the second largest capital city in australia number one spot goes to sydney sydney that's right so melbourne itself there melbourne is considered the classy alternative see sydney was always about money and uh, the big swinging dick, you know, that's what Sydney was. Melbourne was more about class. And Melbourne itself there, it's an interesting place, i got to tell you. Coming from Brisbane, I've got to tell you the truth, and uh, I've got to say this. Melbourne is bloody cold. It is bloody cold. I mean, in Brisbane itself, it's sort of subtropical. Uh, you wear a suit for a job interview or a funeral. Uh, in Melbourne, you wear one to keep warm because it is so bloody cold. The other thing about Melbourne is, is they have these trains that go through the city. They're called trams. Most of the capital states in Australia have pulled these up years ago, but Melbourne hang, has hung on to its trams. and has got a very interesting tram network. These are rail in the city. Brisbane pulled up its trams years ago, and so did Sydney. Did you know the Sydney Opera House? That land was originally a tram depot. That's right. So Melbourne has trams, and they've become a bit of a tourist attraction there, but they, that light rail is a, is a cool way of getting around the city there. Okay, so let's have a talk about Melbourne itself. What is it like there? Well, i got to tell you the truth. It is bloody expensive. It is an expensive Western world city. If you are earning the coin, Melbourne's a great place to come to. But if you're a tourist, I can't really think of any decent reason to get your ass over here. What's here? What is so wonderful in Melbourne? Well, the architecture is nice, yes, granted. In Collins Street, it is quite a classy end, but as soon as you start going into working class Melbourne, it's just nasty. Um, there's a lot of, a um, lot of, uh, how would you put this, a lot of nasty, vicious people trying to scratch out a living. In the posh part of town, this is Collins Street, you know, in the CBD, that's also referred to as the Paris end of Melbourne. It's quite nice. Money buys. Money buys you nicer people. They're not so nasty, not so vicious. If you ignore the occasional homeless person who's sleeping on the street, Melbourne is actually quite nice. But would you really want to live there? That is a damn good question. It is, it is a, uh, it's a city which has got its own architectural heritage and history, but it's not really what I would call the high point of, um, it's not really the high point of the world. Melbourne is an okay city. Yes, it is, but it's Western world. There's not an abundant supply of eligible sexy girls here. No, no, no. Very hard to pick up the chicks. Let me tell you. Let me give you the drum. Melbourne itself is a, um, it's a place to put on your bucket list, visit and never return. There really isn't anything fantastic in Melbourne to draw you back there. Yes, there is a bit of heritage. There is a bit of snobbery. Yes, yes, yes. You see the beautiful, the occasional Porsche 356 tub and the vintage Mercedes. Yes, it is quite a, a classy place. But Melbourne itself there, would I really want to live here? Not really. I've got to be completely frank and honest with you. The weather is bloody miserable. The prices are damn high. And uh, it just seems to be lacking. It just seems to be lacking. Lacking something that the colony seems to have there. 
Melbourne itself, Melbourne. What do I think? What do I think indeed? Melbourne is a... How would I put this politely without the sucker horn being offended? It's bloody cold, bloody expensive, and there's not many bloody Sheilas here at all. Melbourne, it's a city which is... It's nice enough, but on the world scheme, I'd rather go to Honkers, Singapore, or Bangers! I'd rather go to Bangers. So, um, yes, that's the, the awful truth about Melbourne. It's, it is a nice city, but anything special, uh, i got to be completely frank with you, not really that special. Not really that special, not really that wonderful, not really that anything. Melbourne, a fairly bland, overpriced, miserable weather sort of place to be. And um, I, um, I got to tell you, if it wasn't for the sucker horn, I'd never show my face down here again. It's pretty, pretty, um, it's pretty bleak, it's pretty mean, it's pretty nasty. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. This is my tour of Melbourne. Melbourne, Australia. Tell me what you guys think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great vid.